What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. A chest non-responder, what is that? It's somebody that tends to not get the chest development that they want because they're letting other muscles do the job that the chest is trying to do in the first place. And when we talk about the chest, we're really talking about the delts wanting to take over and do everything for you. Today I'm gonna to show you the number one thing you wanna to do to try to get those delts to shut the hell up and let the chest do its job. And of course, we're breaking out the muscle markers to help explain how this all works. So let's draw some muscle marker action here. What we have is the front delt. Okay, the front delt is gonna come again off the end of our shoulder here, and it's gonna come down through here, insert in there, and then it's gonna come up and around here and head down that direction. Okay, that's the front delt. Now, really close by is the upper chest. And really the pecs in general are all gonna sort of suffer from this, what I'm gonna show you here today. But the upper chest is the one that sort of fits right in there, and that's coming off of the clavicle, coming down, and heads down towards the arm that way, and then of course right up underneath here, and heads down towards the arm that way. Okay, so what we basically have are these two muscles that are really close in proximity. So what does that mean? It means everything when we're trying to determine how to get the chest to actually respond and get the shoulders to shut up. And what we do is we look right here, right off the bat, with a bench press. So with the bench, when we come down to the position here, the first thing we want to do is make sure the microphone doesn't choke me. And the second thing we want to do is look at the, the, the pressing, how we do it. When we press up, okay, the major mistake you're going to make is allowing the shoulder to become the first line of defense and take over. So if the shoulder gets in front of the, del, uh, the, the pack itself, then it's going to take on the brunt of the press. Okay, so what we wanna do is make sure that the delt stays behind and that the chest leads. And we can do that two different ways. One of them is sort of a Cam Newton drill that I say. You take this, you open your chest up. The Superman reveal the yes, right? By doing this, we're actually taking our shoulders and putting them down and back, as you've probably heard many times, is a proper position. It's also lifting the sternum up, but more importantly, it's letting the chest lead the way. You see what happened to the delt? It shifted backwards and let the blue pec come up in front, as opposed to this, where now the delt is dominating and coming up in front of the pec, and you can even see the pec kind of give way and let it take over. We don't want that. So what we do is get up and press here, okay? Let the arms come down, but the chest doesn't sink on the way. The chest stays up, the arms come down, and then when we press, we don't let the shoulder take over, we keep it back as the arms come up. Down, keep it back as the arms come up. And you'll feel immediately your chest do a hell of a lot more of the work. Now this will work on an incline press as well, okay? But we can do more than that. We can do push-ups. If I come over here and I get down on the ground to do a push-up, I'm actually doing the same thing. We know that we need the chest to be able to Lead the way. Again, be the first line of defense. Let it do the press when my arms are pressing, and don't let the arms start doing this. There is something called a push-up plus in which we do want the arms to protract when we're working on our serratus, but that's a different deal. That's not for those that are struggling to build their chest. So we want to do the same thing. We don't want the front delt to come in front and then let that all cave in. And you can feel this, okay? You can feel the 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 delt take over, if it goes in front, you'll feel your chest, look, just give in and give way. Okay, you don't want that. You want to be able to do this. So in action, it's going to look like this. We come down. We're right here. Okay. We lower ourselves down to the ground. Again, we open ourselves up. Boom. Down to the ground. Here. Come all the way down. And as we press up, lead the way with the chest. Keep the shoulders back. Down. Boom. Here. Now your shoulder, I mean your push-up count is probably going to take a significant hit, but who cares? It's about directing the work where you're trying to get it in the first place, and if your delt is dominating, it's not going to where you want it. Okay, like that. Now finally, another chest exercise. Nothing changes. Everything's the same. It can carry over to dips. We get up in the dip station here. Again, talk about, again, Open it up, 
here, drag, brings your shoulder blades down, back, lifts your sternum up. When we're in this position, we grab on here. Now, we come up, and again, we don't allow the delts to jump forward and allow the, the chest to quiet down. Instead, what we do is keep them back, up, dive down, press up with the chest. Combine the fact that I've always told you guys, don't let your shoulders shr uh, shrug up either to take away the work from the chest. Keep them down and depressed, down and back to get that to work the most. So something you can take to virtually any of the big exercises on your chest, but the fact of the matter is, forget this non-responder. You know, what you need to do is you need to figure out ways to force it to respond. And there's always a way, and a lot of times it might take a little bit less weight, just a little bit, until you learn the technique and you're able to let the chest start taking over and then start bringing back the weights that you were working with. But either way, these will work and I think you're going to find them helpful. If you like this, guys, make sure you leave a comment and a thumbs up below. If you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, we draw on ourselves here. We do whatever it takes to help you to understand what it is we're trying to teach you better. We do that in our Athlinex training program. It's over at athlinex.com. Again, tell me what you want to see here and I'll do my best to make it for you in a future video. All right, guys, see you soon.